So you're ready to create a new batch of videos. The next question is, will you wing it or will you use a teleprompter? There are pros and cons to going either method. And in this video, I'm going to discuss both and then I'll share with you one of my favorite latest teleprompter apps so that you can really easily create videos for your business. By winging it during your video shoot, you can sometimes benefit from your audience watching you speak authentically about a subject that you're an expert on. Based on your level of expertise and comfortability speaking on camera, your video shoot can be a chore or it can be a breeze. If you're a newbie or, as I like to say, not so comfy on camera, then I recommend that if at all possible, try to use a teleprompter when you're creating your videos. To make using a teleprompter simple and easy, there are a number of video teleprompter applications for smartphones that can record your videos while enabling you to read your script at the same time. In fact, I'm doing so right now. The most important thing to remember, however, is that when you're using a teleprompter, you should write your video script in the same way that you speak. That way you sound natural and not like you're reading. So let's get into learning how you can use an oldie but newly updated video teleprompter app used for both Androids and iOS devices alike, and it's called Big View. And it's coming up next. Welcome back everyone to the Big View Overview. So in today's video, I just wanted to walk you through the steps that I would typically take when I'm creating a video using a video teleprompter app such as Big View. So the first thing that you want to do is create your script. You know what topic you're going to cover. You know the bullet points of what you want to talk about in your video. So now you actually have to draft the script that you're going to use in the video teleprompter app, Big View. So the app that I use for that, because there's always an app for that, is otter.ai. And the way that I use it is I use it in order to record myself saying what I want to say in my video. And then I tweak it, edit it, clean it up a little bit. And then I use that as the script that I'm going to uh, use to create my video. So within the otter.ai, it's a web-based platform as well as it's an app. I just hit the blue uh, button here for my mic and I just simply record my video so I can just say everything that I want to say it doesn't matter how I'm saying it because once I stop recording I can go in and edit it and clean it up if I repeated anything if maybe I did multiple takes of the video then I will just simply come back in and clean that up. And I'll show you exactly how I do that next. So I stop, I'm going to title this as well. <clears throat> right now it says note is processing. I can always go in and title that, but we know that that's the video that I just recorded. And so the next thing that I'm going to do is go into the web-based version of otter.ai. So here is the web version and you can see this is the video that um, or the recording that I just did and I can either move this somewhere or I can delete it if I click over there. But I'm actually going to click on it and then here I can type in new, oops, new voice over. So here I can actually come here, I can come in here and edit and I can make p sentence breaks if that's what I want. I can do that if there was maybe something that I didn't like, I can rechange uh, or correct it if there was some sort of a mistake or anything like that, I can do that. When I'm finished, I can click on done and then I come over here to these three dots and then I can export my text and I can export it as a doc, as a clipboard, meaning I'm just gonna copy and paste it somewhere, 
or as a text file, PDF, or an SRT. So you can use this to do your closed captioning as well. So for the purpose of Big View, I can either just copy this to my clipboard and then come over here to Big View. And when I'm ready to create a new video, I just come up here to the blue button that says Create. And I can either create my script from scratch or I can import it, but you need to be upgraded to their pro or business version in order to get that. So I'm just gonna go here to script. And then here, since I've already copied it, I'm just simply going to paste my script and then just make the necessary edits that I need to make. This then tells you the total number of words as well as the duration. And again, you can come up here and title your script. And then when you're finished, you just click on Save Script. Now to get this script over to your iPad or iPhone where you're actually going to be recording it, you just simply come over here to Send to App. And when you do that, it actually goes to your phone or to your app. And you can see here that it says it was sent to the app. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to my phone and I'm actually going to click into the app itself. And you can see new voiceover is here. So once I click on that, I can see the script is here. Again, if I wish to add to it, delete from it, I have the ability to edit that video and I can still delete it by clicking on these three dots and I can delete it if that's what I want uh, to do. If I want to edit, I just simply click anywhere in the space and it allows me to edit the script. When I am ready to record, I just have to click on this red camera and then it automatically shows me. Now I'm upside down or sideways because of um, how you're looking at the screen at the moment, but I am going to see if I can Send it this way and then there we go. So sometimes you may need to do that just to make sure that it is going to record you portrait. And before I actually get started, you can see to the right of the screen that or left of the screen that um, that's where the script is going to come and that's in the direct eye line of the camera. And so before I start recording, I take um, what I use actually to clean my glasses and I will wipe the area on the side of the camera to make sure that my camera is clean and free of any sort of debris. My script is ready and when I am ready, if I need to do anything, if I need to resize, if I need to change the fonts, you can see all of those things are here. Um, if I need to change the speed, the start, point, the exposure, whatever I need to do, I can um, change it there. And I'm going to change the exposure a little bit. I'll just play around with the exposure. See how that works. And then when I'm ready, I'm just going to click the red button over here. That's right there. And then it's going to give me a countdown from five. You can see that it's capturing my audio. If I need it to get better audio, I can plug this in and then I can immediately start reading. So I can just say everything that I want to say. It doesn't matter how I'm saying it because once I stopped recording, and then I can continue on. So again, if you need to make sure that it's capturing your audio correctly, don't forget to plug in your lavalier mic and you can just plug that into your iPhone or your iPad and then you can clip this on your clothing so that it can capture your audio as clearly as possible. 
iPhones are pretty good when it comes to capturing audio without this. Just make sure that the room is not an empty room because you will get a very echoey kind of sound, which you might be getting a little bit of um, right now because I'm not directly plugged in. When I'm finished, I can just click on the stop button. And then if I don't like this take, I can click on new take here. If I want to title it, I can do that here. If I want to edit in word trim, I can do that. If I need to crop or add captions, logo, anything like that, I can click on that. So you can do a myriad of things. And then from here, if I want to upload it, I can simply click on upload and it's now actually uploading this to the desktop or web app version of um, Big View. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to let this sit here for a minute until it's finished uploading. And now that it's done, I'm going to come here and we're going to refresh. And you can see this is saying that it's rendering now. So just notice all of these uh, projects, which is what they're called, whether they're just a script or they're actually a video, they're called projects, are in various stages. That one was just rendering. Now that, it, now that it's finished, it says ready. Anytime you see a thumbnail of an image, that means that a video has actually been recorded. So once you click on this, You'll see the script and then you'll see the video to the left or to the right of it. And once you click on this, then you'll be able to um, see the video there. Now, I'm not in love with the coloring on this. If, if I was actually doing this for myself, I probably would have um, sat a little bit longer with the exposure and tried to adjust it a little bit more. I also tend to adjust my exposure when I put it into Adobe Premiere, which is where I prefer to do it. But I just wanted to um, show you what the capabilities were within Big View. Once you um, have your video recorded and maybe you need to edit it or you need to do some other tweaks, you want to come down here to these three dots and this then opens up a number of things that you can do. You can download the video so that it goes onto your computer, which is what I would typically do, so that I would then be able to import it into Adobe Premiere, or if you're a Final Cut Pro person, you can do that as well. Then you can also open it in Composer, and you can also add captions. In both of these capabilities, you can add captions, which is basically taking your script, as long as you've, um, set it word for word, then it will use those words and do a, a closed captioning. So if we were to open in Composer, it then asks you, do you want to add captions to it? And if you say proceed without captions, it won't add the captions, but you will be able to add them at a later date. Um, and then once you're in here, you can select what it is that you need to do and how you want your uh, captions to show. So for example, if you want to have the bottom have some sort of a dark gradation, you can certainly do that. And then if you want to manually add in your um, closed captioning here, you can certainly do that. Now let's go back out real quick and I'm not going to save and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go there. And this time I'm going to say, yes, I want to. Uh, add captions. It's going to ask me what language. So I'm going to select uh, English. It's saying that it has sent the request for transcriptions. And once it is completed and it is finished, which should not take too long, you will see um, sort of like a, a little notation, if you will, up here. So it's taking a little bit of time where it's going to tell you that the closed captioning has been um, added. So let's uh, refresh. And so here you can see it says closed captions. You click on that and that's the closed captioning. Um, and then once you play the video now, you'll see that the closed captioning um, 
it was there. If I need it to get better audio, I can plug this in. And then okay, so let's so go into Composure, Composer. Okay, and here you can see where all the closed captioning is. You have the ability to change the look of it if you want to change the fonts and things of that nature. There are some things that you won't be able to do if you don't upgrade to the, I believe it's business um, version, but you can do uh, fundamental things like just adding closed captioning to your videos. So. I wanted to make sure that I showed you how to do that. And then once you're finished, you can then uh, save your script. You can go back to your projects and then you can go on to the next video. So let's go here and just say, for example, if we wanted to download this, then we would tell it where we wanted to download and then we could just save it. And the video is going to download to our computer. So that's the quick and dirty and easy, fast way for you to create custom videos using Big View video teleprompter app and also being able to have your videos have closed captions on them without you using an external uh, platform in order to convert your videos. So this is really a brilliant way um, for you to do this, the only caveat is, is that you actually have to start off with the script first. Thanks for watching. If you want to get more information, feel free to download my free video creation toolkit by clicking the link in the description or above there. And also, if you want to schedule a free, no obligation consultation to see how we can work together, feel free by clicking the link in the description below to schedule your appointment with me. I'll see you next time.